This is John Clay, sports columnist for the Lexington Arrow Leader, along with Josh Moore, UK football B writer for the Lexington Arrow Leader. We're at Kroger Field, where Kentucky defeated UT Martin 50 to seven. What's your takeaway from this big win under miserable conditions? We might add. That's why we're doing the video inside instead of outside because it's still miserable out there. Uh, what's your takeaway, Josh? I was lobbying for this to happen outside. It was my punishment. Just for- yeah, punishment <laughs> to me, not not to you. Go ahead. But you know, yeah, I mean, I didn't think UK would come close to to breaking oh, the Russian record man. again okay. and uh you know here I am you know looking like a fool got some <laughs> egg on my face but uh you know they break the school Russian record single game and you know get bowl eligible while doing it I, I, if anyone if you're complaining about today <laughs> shut up I mean I don't really you know it's well, just you should, the weather, you should, but well yeah I don't know somebody's out there is enjoying this well. but yeah but yeah they can shut up too because they're that's that's weird <laughs> but 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 no yeah it's a, obviously a great you know you're bowl eligible for the fourth straight year it's only the third time that's you know a streak that long or a little bit longer you know the record's five but but so it's only the third time that they've had a streak that long Stoops is the fourth or the third coach to to take UK to four bowl games period so I mean that in itself I mean. You, people can complain and, and, and whine about, you know, UK should be this, UK should be that. And you, maybe they're right in some regards, but, but you're, you're bowl eligible after you had lost two starting quarterbacks. Um, and it's, you know, in the context, the greater context of UK football history, this has, you know, been a banner year when you look at it that way. Yeah, yeah, big and and the other thing I think about today, uh, obviously another big game from Lynn Bowden. He went over 100 yards rushing, as you mentioned. They set the uh, single game record for team rushing yards. I think uh, uh, Lynn broke the record for quarterback rushing yards, breaking Fike Fanuzzi's record. Uh, I think I saw that. Uh, the other thing. Both Vandy game and this game, they got to see a lot of young players. Yeah. A lot of guys who hadn't played or we hadn't seen much of got in there. Travis Tisdale had a long run. That's yeah. that's got to really help them. And Tyler Mark Ray, I mean, guy, yeah. the guy that breaks walk the on. record as a walk on, who's you know, walk on freshman who looked pretty fast. I right. mean, for a, for a guy who's probably not going to get a whole lot of run in his time here, but you never know. Um, and that you, the, the freshness that that'll be the biggest thing. You know, they, and that kind of they talked about it a little bit there in the interviews. Some of the coordinators that you know, they have stuff ready for Louisville they've been kind of prepping you know because I mean they won't say it during the week because they're like oh it's you know focusing on this game and I think there's a lot of truth to that they do focus on the opponent in front of them but you do work on stuff to kind of have in the bag you know when you go up you know Louisville will be a step up you know compared to these last two games and so they've got some stuff ready they're you know are going to be a lot more fresh than they might have been, you know, at other points in the season going into the Louisville game. You've gotten, you know, pretty much the last, you know, two games, the whole fourth quarter where you had second and third stringers out there. I mean, that, that's huge. You know, you get some guys who have some bruises on them uh, healed up and, and, you know, and you get some, get some turkey in them on Thursday and then come out and, you know, try to, you know, fry some some birds on Saturday right right yeah you know big to get those guys some playing time and as you say get some rest for some for the starters and the the regular guys the other big takeaway today is that Mark Stoops it was reported this morning that he had interviewed with Florida State officials but he was no longer a candidate of Florida State Uh, he did address that he didn't really address the interview part of it but he did address uh, the issue by saying that he had been asked to recruits about it and he wanted to make it clear that he was staying at Kentucky that's where he wants to be and that's big to try to clear that up uh, with the speculation going on about Florida State obviously with Mark being a defensive coordinator there before he came to UK and with recruiting I think that's obviously why he wanted to do that and that's big especially with signing days exactly. about three weeks away roughly right. now four weeks away and that's you know he didn't explicitly s- confirm even right. really that he had a meeting but it kind of was the implication was there was some you know there was some a conversation and and uh, you know, and, and we'll see where it goes. I mean, you still got to get to signing day, and right. you know, Florida State still has to hire somebody. And you know, if, if they're top three or four candidates, you know, if you assume Stoops isn't there right now, I mean, that doesn't mean he won't be their yeah, fifth option. Come, you know, come back and, at him or whatever. But for right now, he said he wanted to make it clear today that he is staying at Kentucky. As Josh mentioned, big week this week. Uh, not only Thanksgiving, but we got Louisville on Saturday. Where Kentucky, even though they're bowl eligible, they would love to beat Louisville. Have a seven win season going in. They've got some pretty good momentum but Louisville will be a tough team Scott Satterfield's done a great job yeah. in his first year there it should be it's going to be a really interesting fun game next Saturday yeah it should be a fun few next days here I mean but we'll have a kind of a truncated media schedule so there might be but there'll be plenty of stuff to read and watch you know for sure and you'll have uh, obviously you know the game Thanksgiving uh, also you know shout out to the high school stuff that's happening on Friday state semifinals across the state a lot of good matchups I was looking at it earlier I'll probably, I might try to sneak out to one myself so we'll you know a lot of a lot of fun stuff happening in Kentucky this week. 
Yeah, this is John Clay and Josh Moore from the Herald-Leader. Be sure and check out all of our coverage on Kentucky.com and in the print edition of the Lexington Herald-Leader.